Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Let's just get right into it, shall we? We just came back to uh, the antique shop, and we have the hat that <laughs> we are able to actually try and make better. But first, let's see if anyone wants to play. No, never learned. Jessica? Sure, sit down and play. Let's see here. It's first move, one pawn, pull the pawn, skew a bishop. A skew a bishop. Calls a queen. Vance one of you knights. Darn. It's actually a way to advance one of your bishops. Play knights. And it's a king. Hmm. Whenever there's actually a way to actually win at chests. Let's see, I'm actually kinda curious. Chest shadows reloading. Oh, I just, yeah, there's no way to win in the, begin in the beginning. So let's just sit in the thing. So you sit in the wheelchair, which is surprisingly comfortable, and put the weird metal dome over your head. What would you like to uncurse today? The fedora. No sooner have you sit down the machine with a hiss, positively whips the fedora straight up the dome. The hat rattles around there angrily like a snake in a cement mixer. And after a, few, after a good loud minute, flops limp and wet into your lap. Whatever ominous energy once possessed this terribly cursed hat has got is now simply a terrible hat. But the curse itself still lives, transfixed as a dreamlike contract within the machine. So now how do I get rid of that curse? See, curses are like energy. They can't be created or destroyed, only change. Can't remember who said that. Isaac New? Newman? Newton? Newton. Newton? Newman, yeah. The machine knows how to take a curse from one object and put it in itself. <coughs> but as far... Or how you change a curse? Well, I don't know. But some higher conscious and spiritual stuff. Don't know how much of that. I'm more of a Newton Newman sort of guy. Fedora cursed bounce around the innard of the machine, daring you to come and project your conscious inside it. Sounds safe, I'll do that. Hmm. Poor to another world's open, but work here is yet to end. Curse remains unsolved if I. That Federal Reserve. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called creature. That's now a Friday night murder. She fell before time of ground, same with sin. I know who I am and why I'm here. I cut her. There's been a murder. What knoweth thy murder? That I do not do thy murder, that is all. What more have thee for me? Only, only this, I am one of the three brothers. One of us always tells them the truth, one of us always lies, and the third of us does not speak it, speak end at all, but honks. If I find thee a liar, there is nothing I can do to save thee. I cut her, thou art servant of the wood, blessed be her branches. She fell before some green citizen, et in autogo ego, even in a crowd yet there is death. Yes, even in paradise there is a killer. Big power in the the wood today. A cutter. I a tree has fallen in the forest and has made a sin. But me, not to me, a sinner. That I assure thee. Thou claim to be without sin. None of us is without sin. But mine do not run to murder. And whose? Look for my brother. Lead me not, O Shay. Thy brother. Thy brother spe uh, speaks of three brothers. One who always lies, one who always tells the truth, and one who does not speak in at all but honks. What's back of this? This is fairy talk. No thing has honken in this land since Mother Duck laid the big egg. No honken since then. No sire. Something is rotten in the woodcutter. 
I am murder with perversions at its short source. Speak of me of perversions. I have nothing to say, for I do not to tarry with them. What to do thy telling me? I am troubled by the murder, but of it I know no thing. I warn thee, my forgetness makes no room for lies. Thou wilt do not, if I must cut her, I have no doubt. Thou brother speaking of three brothers. One who always lies, one who always tells the truths, and one who does not speck at all, but honks. What is specking of thee of this? I do not honk in sire, I spur upon it. Thou hast never honken? Never, never. Tis a sin in my eyes. So, one lies, one honks. So... <coughs> he says there hasn't been a brother who honks since ages ago. He says he never honks. But the, it but still suggests that there could be a honkin'. So he could be the liar. Tell thou lie about the honkin'. What say? Thy brother honkin' not. Thou lost li thou lie to a cutter of the wood. Thou would do murder in the wood. Hi. Ay, thou hast the right of it. I sought only to distract in thee while I make my escape. Goodbye, cutter. Do not run from me, tree. Thou do not run? Nay, I grow, and in one hundred years I have grown so tall and strong that an axe will never fell me. But I will not wait one hundred years. Die, murder. Big rot in the wood, day cut her in. Wait, what? No, that's not you. You don't look like that. Dark thoughts of trees and axes, bloody sap <coughs> sings to your skin. You shake them off like a dreadful cobwebs. Which definitely is kind of spooky. 5 XP. Not terribly sure what happened, but you feel over formerly terribly cursed fedora in your hands. Feel confident that the curse which plagued the starchy little thing is finally go gone for good. Put the hat back on and nearly spock yourself. The fedora got upgraded. Now you gotta reckon with whoever, whatever you're the kind of person who goes out wearing a fedora. I love it. Can get good eyesight. Which might as well. Because more item drops than meat drops is always nice. Ooh, plus one maxim and maximum HP. Nice. So does this work with my mysticality? I'll stick with the spatula for now, since <coughs> that's what's working with me. Nothing right now. Leads to nowhere, no messages. Race deck doesn't say the correct time. How'd it go? Uh, worked, I guess? Great, what was it like? I had some kind of crazy dream. There's a woodcutter that was me, I guess, and they were talking trees and one of them had sins. You know what? You know what? Never mind. Some kind of trade crazy dream is plenty for me. Okay, good. Yeah. Is everything good, Gabby? All keen as peach. Big small talk. It's been a few years since I spent some time in Ocean Sea, but I don't remember this being run down. True as they say, it used to be much more clean and shiny. What happened? Economy is terrific everywhere else in the country. No ideas. Economy is not how Scabby keeps my wheels in. Real firecracker in the fist fight, huh, Gabby? Huh, Gabby likes fighting and dancing. Two best things. Gabby invented fit fight dancing once, but the world was unready for it. Maybe 50 years later. Um. So you're a flapper, right? Yeah, Gabby flaps all the time. Gabby's parents flap too, and Grand Gabby. But the star's only been star for seven or eight. Oh, right, yeah, goblins. You don't live very long, huh? Depends on how you look at it. Parent Gabby popped a year and a half ago, but this Gabby basically is this Gabby and previous ones too. It's okay if you do. Don't worry too hard for us. Goblins think, think human baby making is super crazy. Uh, how did you get mixed up with Murray in the whole antique store? Gabby was looking for old clothes and her and Murray and Jessica are talking mysterious things to get it. It has adventure smell. Murray said, we're gonna need some muscle for this. And Gabby says, Gabby has several muscle strong ones. And that was that. So 
So, I guess that's basically it. So, the, uh, Uncle Murray was a real surprise. <coughs> Didn't read it. What did it actually say? Basically, he said if he could come visit him because he needed help with something big and he knew he had adventuresome spirit. Adventuresome spirit? Yeah, that's Murray, right? I haven't seen him in ages. I mean, I only saw him at Crimbo, and sometimes he came with us when he went camping in the summer, but after I moved out to college, we kind of lost touch except for birthday cards. But you dropped everything to come see him? To see Crazy Uncle Murray again? Of course. Did he still do that trick where he pulls five meat out of the air? What? Ew. Yeah, it was super gross, but I loved it when I was ten. Well, I bet he'll do it if you ask him if you can find him. Yeah, here's hoping. So how is this helping to find Murray? Not to dispute the important collecting of these weird artifacts or anything, but I'm worried about Uncle Murray. How's it helping find him? Guess I didn't really explain that. See, the Detectotron thousand is new. We only got it running after Murray disappeared. So he's already searching out artifacts in more hands-on ways. Research, networking, following rumors, that kind of thing. The last artifact he went after, it could basically be anywhere, but the Detectotron only detects the nearest artifact. I see, so you figure if you pick them up in order, eventually get to the one that he was looking for. Right, I wish to heck that he left a nod where he was going, but I guess he either thought it was too dangerous and didn't want us following, or he was just rushed off all excited like a kid in a toy store. Some worry for you. That's Jax. <coughs> okay. Yes, that's it. Yes, I can look at my inventory and I don't actually have my suitcase. Is this my suitcase? Open the trunk. <gasps> no, not my suitcase. Stamp out the flames, that's a total loss. Everything you own has been reduced to ash. Everything everything except uh, bizarrely the stamp from Murray's letter. Interesting. Simple desk with no chair or pens or papers or anything. Shelf for knickknacks and whatever that is. Take a look. For knickknacks, there's an old rag doll on the top shelf. Must have been left by the previous tenant. It's walk away from the shelf. Love the empty space. You should try and cry a bunch of random crap. Television set. Too long. Oh. Is there anything else? Stamp from Murray's letter. The stamp from the letters Murray wrote to you was the only survived from your luggage in front of got a picture of a cute dog on it. Weirdly, it even isn't charred. Curious, the postmark says April 18th, 1906, even though Jessica said she mailed the letter only a couple weeks ago. Oh. What's important about that date? Um, I guess I can check it out later. Jacob Marley, post my favorite literary ghost. Lots of the hallway people in the hallways, it seems. Talk to one of them. Hello. Hello. Uh, how's it going? Do you know which locker is mine? I can't remember which locker is mine. Sorry, I don't know. Figure it out eventually. Eventually. Six lockers. Check the first one. Colony of Vans. Check the second one. Full of peanut butter. Third one. Tiny shrine to be Bruce. Check the fourth one. It's empty. Check the fifth one. Fifth locker is full of co uh, cookbooks, but they're all French. Sixth one. Opens into a vast, uncaring emptiness of space. Same but check quickly. This is not to suffocate. Check this. Okay. There isn't a seventh one. I said check the seventh one. There's only six lockers. Check the seventh locker now. Okay, geez, he's looking at the seventh locker. It's filled with old school papers. Look at the papers. They all got your name on it. They're your papers. Read one. How I spent my summer by Esther Ash, age six. Registered in my Uncle Murray's. Uncle Murray is funny. He knows magic. I had fun time with Uncle Murray then. Look under the papers. Underneath the pile of school papers, you find a uh, overdue library book. Nice faces you got there. Do you know which one's mine? I can't remember which one's mine. Oh, which one's yours? Um, wait. It's the 
fourth one? He's a the fourth one. So the fifth one is the French okay, I'm gonna write this down. It's okay. <coughs> uh four M T five French cookbook books. Six is space. Uh, seventh is mine. First is ants. Second is peanut butter. Butter. And the third is Babe Ruth. Ruth. Always less crowded now. Founder, Brandforth really looks friendly. I think he must be uh, Ash, Esther Ash. I know who I, I know I am, but who are you? Academic advice, it's time for you to choose a class. But I dropped out in real life, certainly, but you must choose a class. Oh, I get it, this is why I pick a character class. Now that it looks like there's three classes for you to choose from. Advanced kicking and throwing class for pig skinners. Overview for uh, curd conjuring class for cheese wizards. And finally weird time signatures for jazz agents. I'm interested in being a cheese wizard. As a trained magic sh chief magic, cheese wizards are used their intellect and mysticality to accomplish their goals. Combat, they wield hard element Elemental cheeses to damage their foes, soft soothing cheeses seal themselves and their allies. Let me think about it a little bit more. What about the pig skinner? Compl accomplished athletes, pig skinners use the muscle to solve problems. Combat, they prefer direct application of physical force, punctuated by giving occasional moogie. Second thoughts. I'm interested in being a jazz agent. Masters of. I have no idea. Pronounce that and improvisation. Jazz agents use the rhythm and moxie to move through the world in style. Combat, they attack with sub subtlety, weakening their enemies and stacking odds in their favor for time. Maybe not. I think I'm interested in being a cheese wizard. I love it. I'm a cheese wizard. <laughs> You're a cheese wizard, Esther. Brilliant. Let's see here. Now then, there's this matter. Uh, there's a minor mi a matter of your minor. It looks like you've already completed it, but it doesn't say what you studied. Uh, let's see here. Uh, class se uh, selection. I'm just doing this just in case. Uh, minor chat. Shadow overloading, just so that way. <coughs> See here. So you're just gonna pull these up just so I can ha kind of have them on hands. Oh, it just says plant-based icona, bugs, birds, and bees, and such, or rocks, gems, and hopes and dreams. So I'm gonna say applied insectology. So yeah, okay, so you implied experts and bugs and the birds and bees and such. Now let me see my other op other option. Minor in cryptonomy. Expert in all manner plant based ecology. Actually no. Minor in the psychology of rocks. So you know a lot about rocks and gyms and their hopes and dreams. <laughs> I think implied insectology. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I think yeah, except for the birds part. So gather crafting ingredients from insects. Interesting. And with that, I'm done. I feel free to wake up and go about your day. Uh, how would I go about doing that? She smiles and points to the door on the right side of the screen. I mean, the right side of the dream. Just go through that drawer. Thank you. Uh, 
lock I'm actually kind of lockers for first dream chat shadows over loathing because I'm kind of curious here so yeah so each of the faces look like each of the different lockers interesting go back through your room Packs only last for the day. Morning, Yessa. How do you sleep? Wait, why are you still wearing those old clothes? All my other clothes burned up in a freak luggage fire. Oh, jeez, that's weird and unfortunate. You seem less surprised by it than I expected. We've kind of gotten accustomed to weird and unfortunate stuffing happening around here. You can pick up some clothes from the clothes shop out front if you don't mind looking like someone's dusty old grandparents. I'll be right, thanks anyways. Once you get some sleep out of your eyes, I got another mission for you. Another curse thing? Yeah, I had my eyes on it for a while, but it keeps moving around. Mostly the readings put it at the local speakeasy at the back of the alley at the other end of the block. The artifact isn't there right now, but that's where I'll start looking. Maybe you can pick up some clues? What am I looking for? It appears to be some a watch of some kind. Pocket watch or maybe a wristwatch. Can't be certain. They're watching the speaky AC in the alley. Got it. Anything else? You also need the passwords for the speakeasy. It's fiddlesticks. Also, let me give you this to-do list. It's a chance to always show you whether you've written on whatever is written on the chalkboard here. <coughs> Got a to-do list. Pretty neat check. Also, here's some meat expenses for you too. Army surplus next door should have anything you might need in case it gets rough. Got 100 meat. Ominous. Thanks. That wasn't here before, was it? No, the antique bookshelf man came by this morning and Charles couldn't resist the deal. Can't believe I slept through the antique bookshelf man. All the books on land, never learned land myself, so who knows if historic of Roman name probably got there or pornography. Could be both. You know Latin? You know any Latin, Esther? Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, the, the, they say it's a dead language, but I think if... But I think... Nothing ever dies, it just ends up in our sorry. Check the books. You select a random book from the Latin language collection. Lipum Usum Dolores sits amidst appears to be a biographic design in the whole Roman Empire. Hard to imagine that knowledge become relevant to your quest, but hey, now you know where to find it. But what's this? Cheese's Eye of Smelt. Now that's not in there. But take it, clearly too modern to have any resale value in the antique store anyways. Magna Glate. <laughs> I need to step through. Start your search for Chris Watch. Uh, I can just ask if the watch. Nothing about messages. Kind of quiet in my morning already. See that bookshelf? Just bought it. Rare find. Cargo ship from the Mustflower. Quiet province for bookshelf. Captain bought the Mustflower dock. Couldn't steer. Drove into the starfish. Whole thing sank instantly. Anything else I can help you with? Still brick roll. Interesting. <coughs> Overdue a library book. Read it. You didn't feel like reading it when grade school and you don't feel like reading it now. Fair. Uh, let's see here. One woman's tale of the travels and Mary trail to cheeses. I learned a new combat skill. Now is not the time for squinting. Um, 
But yeah, we got the Murray's letter. We can investigate further. And into the first chapter. Welcome to Ocean City. I'll come back to that in a minute. So nothing here, nothing here. So I'm going out of business. So I'll check out the sore plus in a minute. For lease, close, condemned. It's so obviously the alleyway. Watch for eye. What, what, what was what was the uh, stamp? 1906. Found something interesting. Frisco Frights. Morning at 5:12 Pacific Standard Time. The city of Fr <coughs> city of Francisco is rocketed by a massive earthquake, the magnitude of which scientists has not yet agreed upon a method of measuring. The initial death toll estimate is as many as 500, though the number will certainly increase due to the fires currently raging across the city. There have also been strange scattered reports of, from witnesses who have claimed to observe unusual, unusual phenomena such as beams of black light, some sonic laughter, and soul-rending nightmares. Through. Though our editors wish to point out that Fr Frisconians are known for their fondness of psychic, psychedelic intoxication. You're really starting to enjoy this kind of research. Got a perk! Knows for news, you always enjoy Always sniffing. Gain extra SP for learning new things in the newspaper archive. That's ominous. I still don't have enough mysticality for that. But, we... We have one hat, several different weapons, but... And they're useful hands-off, accessories... Nothing for rings, pants, nothing for shoes. I think, I think keeping Jade the Turtle equipped would be good. Nothing for food, potions. You can increase your stench over by one, sure. Got a couple handful, got a handful of quest items, a couple books. Um, let's see here. I mean, if I decide to do Moxie, Rusty Pistol would be good. Then I want to switch to the Welding Glove, maybe? Could be useful. Secure loans. Daylight's Killer's Bank has been closed for some time. The bank has fascinated three locks. Maxable, possible of a security. Look under the welcome mats. Not a bad idea, but if you're gonna lift the welcome mat, you need to know what you're looking for first. Do I? How much stuff can be under a welcome mat? Just a key from the bank at the front door. So turns out the security place is inconsistent. Use the key. The doors, locks, are model and monstrous mugs of Great Hound servers. Three head guardians of the underworld banking sector. Each three heads have a name. Flex, Method, and Sneaky Pete. Like in a keyhole deep in its small. Even known, I got a key for. Oh. What about four locks? So, a liberal fantasy. Um, unlock for Lux. Uh, lets the key in easily enough, but offers up incredible resistance when you try to turn it. You didn't need to have better muscle to open it. So I need better Moxie to open up Sneaky Pete's. And unlock uh, Methapin. <coughs> key fits in the hole, but the labyrinth of cylinder. You need click after click, but nothing results. So I need better mysticality. Interesting. <coughs> I need to continue my back way to the shop. Some army bags, some books, on oh, no, a civilian. Use yourself. Uh, hello, war enthusiast Herschel. Herschel Wood. Uh, I'm ambivalent about war. 
person doesn't change. Can I interest you in any of your fine historical memorabilia? Ask about the GPS grenades. Probably fine. What, why doesn't the box say fine grenades then? It looks like grenades at you. Say, how would you like to do some PR research? Sure, why not? You can do a bunch of grenades. Just try them out next time you get in the fight and whether they're we done, come back and let me know how it went. Sure, I can do that and we'll see what's for sale. So let's see here, got Ooh. Definitely want this book because that's interesting. See here, anything else that <coughs> I don't need? I wish I could sort by specifically items, but I think I'm good. Thanks for because I don't have much meat, so I can't really get that much. But guess I can get some sardines and feed them to the cat. Here's some government issued sardines. <laughs> when you open the can of sardines, can Kali Kal Kal P immediately wakes up, devours the entire can, and then purrs that she licks the remaining oil from your fingers. Looks like you made a friend. New cat unlocked. You can now pet Kali P to receive a moon. Pet her now. It's nice scratching and leaves a purr going back to sleep. Kali P's boon. Kali P's affections have reinforced you against slings and arrows and mice and birds of the world. Plus one <laughs> armor. Nice. Oh, God, so cute. Oh, I love that. So I'm gonna read the book. <coughs> Parmesan Missile. That's nice. Can't obviously read it further, but I got a new skill. Whoa, okay. <coughs> lots of new skills. So, first row. Lots of muscle skills, some armor, some magical weapon attacks, and some constantly damages enemies. And the second row column, there's more mysticality, some more AP, maximum HP, and plus three to magical weapon attacks. And the third column, we have plus one to moxies, magical weapon attacks, plus one to magical weapon attacks, plus, P one, plus five XP from fights. And plus one AP, and then the last column is I can bewitch, pe I can confuse people with magic, plus five XP from gathering, and <coughs> times two materials from gathering. Interesting. So that's last column is I'm assuming related to my thing, and I got obviously two skills from my combats, and my perks. Nice. I guess all that's left is to just hmm. You know what? I am going to call this episode here. I think this episode's probably gone on long enough, which And I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. And may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Goodbye, everybody.